Hey guys, it's Rianne, and today I'm going to be showing you how to become one of my favorite pop stars, um, Marina of Marina and the Diamonds as Electra Heart. I'll show you how to do the makeup, the hair, and get the outfit. So let's start with the makeup. First, you're going to take a primer. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion, and you're going to apply that to your lids. Especially if you're going to a party dressed as Marina, you want it to last all night long. Then taking the Urban Decay Naked Palette, I'm going to take Sin, which is this light pink champagne color, and I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. Then taking Naked from the Urban Decay Naked Palette, which is a matte, very light brown, I'm going to apply that into my crease to give it a deeper look. And then taking Toasted, which is a little bit on the darker pink side, I'm going to apply that over the Naked. Then taking a pencil brush, I'm going to wing out the ends, so that way when we're doing the winged liner, it will all look very cohesive. Sorry about my flyaways. I don't know what to do with them and they were annoying me the whole time I was filming this. Then taking Blanc Type by MAC, I'm going to apply that under my brow and I'm going to sort of soften the look by blending. So blend away until it looks like a gradient. Then taking Naked Lunch by MAC, I'm going to apply this in my inner tear duct area just to highlight the inner parts of my eyes. And then taking Sin again, I'm going to drag this along my lower lash line. For brows, Marina has darker brows than I do, so I'm taking Brown Down by MAC and I'm just kind of using a picture of her in order to get her brow shape. Then using a felt tip liner like the Art Liner from Lancome in black, I'm going to create a winged cat eye effect. The best way to do this is to go very slowly and do small strokes. That's my face in disbelief that it doesn't look absolutely terrible. <laughs> and then this is about as symmetrical as I can get it. Then taking Max Graph Black Eyeliner, I'm just going to line the very inner part of my um, inner lids just to bring in the color. Then I'm going to curl and add mascara. I'm using Clinique's High Impact Mascara. Then taking these House of Lashes lashes in Femme Fatale. They are so cute, look how they're in a little house. I think they're adorable. I'm going to first measure them on my lashes and then cut them to size. And then using this Darkness Lash Glue, which you can get on houseoflashes.com, which will be linked in the information bar below, I'm going to attach them to my upper lash line. Then taking these Ardell individual lashes, I'm going to stack two of these lashes together and make sure they're both going the same way and glue them together so that way they'll be able to show up better when you put them on. And then I'm going to take the glue and apply it directly to my lower lash line where I want to place the lashes. And then you just place the lashes on there and that's the easiest way to go about doing this. I think this is such a cute lash look. I love it. Then taking Peachy Keen Blush by MAC, I'm going to apply this to my cheeks. This is a NYX lip liner in Dolly Pink, and I just use that to fill my lips in in their entirety to prep for my lipstick. With this Revlon lipstick, which is matte in the color Stormy Pink, I'm going to apply that to my lips for a very bubblegum pink. For the last step, in the terms of lips, we're going to take NYX Harmonica lipstick and just apply that in the middle of the lips in order to get some dimension. And then do a little wiggle dance. Always wear your heart on your cheek and never on your sleeve, just like Marina says. So using my Graph Black Eyeliner from MAC, I'm going to gently sort of make a little heart birthmark on my cheek. And sorry, my ear is more in focus than my face. There we go. Okay, now moving into hair. So I use second day hair because my hair is naturally curly and I thought it'd be easier to style straight hair. So I'm just brushing it out. Then taking Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo, I'm going to put this in my hair, not only to you know use a dry shampoo, but also because this will add a good deal of volume. Even if I had clean hair, this just really pumps up the volume. So I love using this even on days that I have clean hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that through and just sort of 
use my fingers to pump up the volume. And sorry for my awkward, I don't know, head tilted backness. And you can already see the volume that that created. It's pretty insane. Then taking this curl care mousse. It's a mousse, so it will help pump up the roots. It doesn't have to be for curls. I just, you know, used what I had in terms of mousse. I'm just going to take this on my hands and I'm just going to work this in at the roots as best as I can without getting the top of my hair just because I didn't want the product to kind of get gloppy on the top so just kind of try and get to your roots as most as you can. Look how much volume that is without even teasing, isn't that crazy? Now taking a brush, I'm gently brushing the top layer of hair back. Then taking my rat tail comb, I'm separating little pieces so that way I can go in and back comb or tease my hair for even more volume. I don't know why I made a fish face there. I really don't. But anyway, we progress and tease, 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 back comb, back comb, back comb. Basically make it look like a ratty mess so we can have a lot of volume. It's like the 80s. Then I'm going to put all of that hair sort of behind me and I'm going to take a ribbon. I got this one at Michael's for 99 cents and you're gonna want a pink one for Marina's signature look. And then I went ahead and I cut the edges on an angle and I just sort of eyeballed how much I needed And after you've cut your piece, you're going to put it behind your neck and bring it up around your hair like a headband. Because that's what we're making, a headband. And then when I brought it to the front, I just tied it into a little bow, much like Marina does. Okay, so after that, I took my straightener and without pulling down on the hair too much, I just wrapped big chunks in the, in the straightener to make these big, loose curls. Her hair always just looks great, so I was trying to kind of get that 60s vibe and so I thought leaving the sort of limp wouldn't really be the vibe I was trying to give off. So I thought doing this big, huge curl look would be great. If you have rollers, you can do it that way as well. But this way it's just a little bit faster. And by the way, that's steam, not smoke, coming off of the straightener, and it's just the product. It's not my hair catching on fire or anything, so do not worry. My hair is all intact, girl. And so this is what the hair looks like so far from the back. Then taking some hairspray, I used this one, but honestly it wasn't very good, so I don't recommend it. Um, and it's the Sebastian Shaper Plus. I'm just going to grab the hair at the crown of my head, um, and I'm going to take my comb after I hairspray it. And then using my comb, I'm going to tease it up even more. We want all the volume. And then I did another layer of teasing and hairspray. That was probably a little overkill with that amount, but you get the idea. So then I zhuzhed it up a little bit. And taking my comb, I just kind of made it look a little bit more polished on the top and gave it one last sort of spray. Because we want this hair to last all night. And that is all you have to do. And then this is what it looks like from the back after you're all done. Big hair, don't care. The bigger the hair, the closer to God. Okay, I'm done. Next, for the outfit. Okay, I'm really sorry when I was filming this. I had no idea that the exposure was terrible and I'm, I'm so sorry. But I got this dress at the thrift store because it looks kind of 60s-ish with the drop waist. Um, but something that looks really vintage will be perfect for Marina because she loves vintage, especially the 50s and 60s as well. 
Um, so this is what the pattern on the dress looks like up close. I also really just love the color scheme because it does have pink in it. And then I took this sweater that I just got from H&M that I thought kind of looked like a 50s cheerleader would wear and I put it over it in case it gets cold. And if you have a stuffed poodle it'll work best but I only had a stuffed bear. And then I used these Steve Madden wedges for shoes because they seemed kind of marina-ish. And so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had way too much fun trying to become Marina for a day and it was really fun to wear so many fall slashes. I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you decide to be Marina, please tweet me or send it to my Facebook and I'd love to see a picture. Um, I hope you guys have a great and safe Halloween. Bye guys!